the key to achieving your most optimal trading to trading at the very best of your ability is to simply identify your strengths and weaknesses. Most traders are completely invisible to themselves. They don't know what they do best. You want to be able to identify your strengths and expand at what you're good at. You need a playbook. A playbook is a set of archived trades that make the most sense to you. You're only taking trades from this playbook. Everybody's playbook is different. You may only have one to two setups in your playbook and other people might have three to four. But the idea is to build upon your strengths and minimize your weaknesses. You need to understand that trading is a sport of survival and perseverance, even for the successful traders out there. It's all about how long you can stay in the game. You are probably losing money trading setups that are not worth your intellectual, emotional, and your financial capital. You're taking these trades that are hindering your confidence, making you question your system, making you question your strategy. Most developing traders would improve dramatically if they simply eliminated their shit trades. Eliminate your crap trades and stick to the setups in your playbook, AKA the setups that work best for you. And I promise you, you will start seeing more positive results. Trade what you know and what you do best and leave everything else out the window. So what do we say in trading? That wins always outweigh your losses. That's how you become profitable by having bigger wins than your losses. But how do you do this? Most traders are overly obsessing about their weaknesses, but you will improve and get better at trading by developing this playbook. This playbook will help you spend much more time developing and putting more effort into the setups that work for you rather than focusing on your weaknesses. If you are a trader that has been underperforming and you're not happy with your results and you're not, and you're not profitable yet, ask yourself these questions. Number one, do you have a daily trading review? Your daily trading review is something that you use to go over your trades at the end of each day. This is actually more important than the trading day itself. The goal of this review is to recognize the setups that are working for you, identifying and eliminating mistakes, and finding ways to improve your game. It's almost the equivalent as an athlete, like a, let's say a football player watching film right studying the defense studying the offense when you have this review it also gives you an opportunity to become face to face with your absolute worst trading and it can turn this into an opportunity to learn and to get better when you experience a horrific terrible trading day don't ignore it give it voice talk it through make sure you're like learning the lessons from that day you want to you can't ignore these things you have to think things out you have to give it voice whenever you're doing bad if you're in touch with how badly that this like negative trading makes you feel then you're less likely to continue to repeat the same errors. If you're in touch with how badly this trading is making you feel, then you're less likely to repeat your errors and mistakes. If you can learn to change your mindset about losses and limit these losses in a controlled way, every single trading day can be a positive experience for you. All your L days would just simply become learning opportunities for you to increase your game. But there should never be any days that leave you feeling like a loser or a failure. Often when you take big losses and have very big red days, it make it can ruin your whole day. I've I've gone through these periods of time where after taking an L, ha having a bad trading day, it would ruin my mood for the rest of the day and that is a sign that you are not trading properly. That is a that is a big red flag. Your your trading should not control your emotions to the point where the rest of your day is ruined because you took a loss today. Most traders overvalue the importance of their trading day, which is their actual trading. This is actually the least important part of your day. The work you do after the trading day, the journaling, the reviewing your trades, the, the going over your mistakes, going over what you did good. This is the most important part of your day because this is how you're going to improve your game. This is what pro traders do to level up and become elite. These are the moments you make the most progress with your trading. Your trading slumps and losing periods 
are trials and tribulations that build resilience and confidence. Resilience in your trading is very important. Every plan lost you have gives you an experience of control over your trading. Every drawdown period that you battle back from is an experience of mastery. When you recover from your losses, you reinforce your emotional resilience in your trading. Every trading strategy goes through drawdown period. A great way to build confidence is to focus on how you trade when you're in drawdown and when you are in these losing periods. You can build confidence and resilience by successfully navigating your way through adversity and times of losing periods and losing and trading slumps. When you start trading well and you finally start taking wins and are showing signs of consistency, this is one of the best times to start coaching yourself. Your goal isn't to ever change what's working, but it's to become even more consistent in your efforts. You need to do more of what works. You don't want to sit back and get comfortable and complacent once your system finally starts to work. That is how you, that is not going to bring elite levels of success. As a trader, as you're trading, you cannot be focusing on your performance and focusing on the outcome because that will interfere with you performing in itself. The expert performer, anybody who's an elite at what they do, anybody who's great, they do not focus on performing. They do not focus on the results of, the, of what they're doing while they're actually performing. They're just in flow state. The expert performer does not think positively or negatively about their performance while they're performing. That is a distraction. They are simply absorbed and 100% and paying attention to what they're doing to, to the act itself. Like I said before, this is similar to being in a flow type of state. What makes you an elite performer is that your full concentration is on the execution of your skills at the task at hand. If you think about an expert surgeon who's performing a surgery do you think their focus is on what if what if i mess up what if this person doesn't live uh what if i don't do this correctly no the focus of the expert surgeon is to simply execute the surgery thinking positively or negatively about your performance will negatively affect the outcome trading is truly 80 percent mindset if you can learn to control your mind and if you can learn to focus on the task at hand you will be able to make it this shit is not rocket science um trading is the hardest easiest way to make money but it's hard for a lot of people to stay focused and to control their mind so with that being said Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys learned anything new or anything that could potentially benefit you, put it down in the comments. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Seven six two, man, we blasting his whip. Whole lot of blood had to down me a crib. He said he can't breathe because he tagging his ribs.